Let me clothe you. Hello you and welcome. The the fable. So, well, I just had to put the prices up. so I don't remember if I did it off camera, but this is how we look like now. Oh. Beautiful, isn't she? Now, what were we doing? Do you remember? Anything I can do for you, just Apparently give me so we're doing something over there. Right. Cheers. So yeah, let's Let's follow the glowing trail of shame. Not remembering what we were doing. Just look or mm, Let's see quest list. Burst from resistance. I don't want to do that yet. <gasps> the game. Yes. yes. No. Should be near it as well. It was near this. Alright, you hold A. I'm so used to running different games now where they require you to hold or to press left stick that I try to implement this scene. Watch out for sales! You could get a real bargain! I buy stuff. So come here and, uh, or buy maybe a completely different. Nope, it's this one. Here, but let's take. What do you have for me? Come on. Okay, it's very nice to too. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double checked every bit of it. We. I don't oh. believe it. You're a hero. I mean, you're a real hero. Yes. That's just what we need. Salutations. We are three magi of great power. I am Madron of a thousand faces, and this is Caliph, Lord of the Fairies. And lo, as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number. Oh, for goodness sake, Mark. My mom wants me home for supper. Fine. And lo, that's Jim. Now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? All you have to do is take this magic orb, and you'll be transported to the baron's realm. What say you, hero? Will you aid us? Will you aid her? She is completely hot, by the way. Of course I'll help you, but... Under, under one condition, I can kill everyone in this game. Like, total murder hobo we're talking about. The hero wakes. Long had she harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it. Just on. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. It's a very pretty village. Yeah, I said pretty. But it's a very pretty village. Mm -hmm. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what she could find out about the missing princess. You heard decided it, to pick up Celery of Doom. If the hero starts talking to all the villagers, we'll be here forever. Well, some players like talking to people, immersing themselves in the story world. This is like when you told me people read item descriptions. No one reads item descriptions. As it happens, Arturo, the gatekeeper, knew exactly what had happened to the princess. Hey, shut up. You're ruining it. I wrote tons of lines for the villagers, and I think some of them are really cool. Actually, no, you know what? We're evil, I don't care about your villagers. Let's go straight to the point. There's something. Oh, there was a end here. Excellent! Hero's gonna talk to Arturo. Now we can get things moving. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. 
Well, that's it. No clues to solve or anything. Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. We're getting up the hill could be... The hero decided to investigate the... Okay, never mind, this is gonna be easy. I'm saying this is gonna... It could be hard. Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll I could name one. Bring it on. Oh. Hi. Oh, they just appear out of thin air. So the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge. And far more exciting than rabbits. Yeah. Hey. Predictable, though. The novelty <laughs> of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realize you can't fight them, though, doesn't it? Does everything have to be about fighting? Yeah. Story is conflict. Ideally, with not too much story getting in the way. Well, those rabbits could be the murderous, bloodthirsty rabbits from like the Python. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the Princess and the Baron. Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil Baron! <laughs> I am the evil Baron. And the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will... Well, they'll do evil stuff. For they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. Oh. Okay, this is... It's just an instruction. The story of doom or tough of absolute annihilation. No, I don't want anything that reduces that. I'd rather have something that let us gain more weight fast. Wise old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me, re cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let her open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give her the sword. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now she's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. The next time ask, what's... Green in red and swimming round and round and round. I'm gonna leave you with that. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. T Quick, let's make something up. Uh, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Oh, that's cute. Worst game ever. I'm serious. How about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Okay. Oh. Yes. I'll act accordingly. Wait, what? what why wasn't this one hit? Please hit the ones that are next to you. Oh, never mind. Are we done? Nope, not yet. The Hollow 
men vanquished, the hero ventured on. I'm glad that he didn't ban me from using my own weaponry. What be bummer. Foolish hero. Pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm scared. What could be the evil lives in here? Beside that thing. Legendary condom of the gods plus five. Yep. I know how they got it. <laughs> I don't wanna know how they got it. And why they put it in this game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a tabletop game. Chickens? A chicken? Yes, I thought it was time to put in something cute, but also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben, you... <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. Best RPG ever. Yeah, if only he could aim totally. Dude, right time to tell that I don't remember which difficulty you're playing on. I think it's Maba. It would be a bummer if we died to demon chickens. Anyway, on she ran, seeking a way out of these dark and gloomy caverns. The hero emerged into the light to find the evil Baron at bay. Help me, hero. You're my only hope. I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hop guard will take care of you. Oh, of course they will. <laughs> yeah, we have grabbed it. We upgraded our weapon. Plus thirty percent sense of self-importance. Yep. God damn it! Anyone else? No. Yep. Man. We're done. I'm getting rid of him. Curse you, hero! You're going to kill them all, aren't you? Yep. Anyway, where did you get those? I'm asking for a friend. The Baron's elite guards lay at the hero's feet. Nothing now lay between her and the evil Baron. Personal combat, hero. But no. That I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword. That is the bane of my existence. Which there is no way you could possibly have. Really? The sword! The bane sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! 
kind of rubbish game unless you kill the villain in one blow. Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hero kisses the princess. Two girls kissing? Bit of a cliché. An incredibly hot cliché. It's ironic. It's a self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. <sighs> well, an incredibly hot self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. No, we're gonna threaten her. Ah. Being evil is just so I did not see satisfying. That coming. What a great ending! This hero has no time for petty human emotion. Nothing matters but the glory of battle. I think the You're hero right loves there. her, but faced with a dangerous and uncertain future, she made the noblest choice. To I can kill her. I cannot. Oh, come on. Don't ruin it. I'm with Ben. While initially hurt and confused, the princess grew to realize that the hero had acted selflessly and her love grew stronger than ever. Fine, she can think that, but the truth is much more sinister. I cannot kill her. Get me out of here. work my friends you are fantastic you have to be the best hero of all time I i'm going to have my bard strength the sorcerer compose a song about you <laughs> whatever we bestow upon you the title of honorary master of dungeon thank you thank you well that went well don't you think uh -huh. good bit of gaming that when's the next session same time next week hang on where's the orb which orb which orb how many orbs have we got? The orb yeah, of you shouldn't be having those orbs, Brown. Oh. Hey, probably just as well. For a magical artifact of unfathomable power, it was a bit rubbish. Here. Yeah. Okay, they stop talking. Dear Mark, Jim, and Ben, you wet nose, soggy brain gamer geeks, you sad cheese faced nerds, why don't you get a life and stop all that wimpy role playing? Yours sincerely, Arthur. I like yes, playing. Don't bother because you haven't got any. Yeah, girls can can roleplay as well. Especially if their game masters doesn't really mind if they do something stupid like hmm, ah, hello. I don't know, be a satire. And to do a couple of things. Uh, let's go for the voice. Here. It's gonna be last one. Uh, this is gonna be a long one. I just will do it for today. Mm, like, become the satire, the cleric of nature. You have to be holy with nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, fine with nature, that's why I'm gonna save every possible living being. Infuse it with magic. Yay. Infuse it with nature. So we basically are playing Curse of Strat. We have a um, magical... Well, used to be normal. Hound. Now it's a magical hound with... Uh, Reeds, water reeds, as ears, and he. I wow. think he's pink in green spots, or maybe the other way around. But yeah, he's magical now. We are bound together, and stuff like that happen. Oh, and we have a deer that's been magically changed oh, to have class. its to have um, nice ostrich legs. Yeah, it's a fairly strange session. Well, it was strange since the beginning because 
without ever speaking one another, our party contained of Clake of Nature, Nature, Paladin of Nature, Monk that was Wood Elf, Forest Wood Elf, Forest Elf, whatever you want to call it, and the Berserker that was supposed to shape. That, that was connected to nature so that he could shape shift or something like that. It was strange. Yeah. And basically every one of us had something oh, something green. Without ever speaking to one another about how the, we're gonna play out the session, what are Character is gonna be. So yeah. Can Hello. you hear that voice? Of course no. you can. Everybody can hear it. I it's can. enough to drive a perfectly good worker insane. I used up all my savings to buy this factory, and all I'm left with is well, an empty building. Together we will build a better future. Okay, and I can hear it. That won't shut up. Uh -huh. I, I'm sorry. I just can't take it anymore. When sure. I went down to the cellar to investigate, the voice just got louder. So I ran as fast as my legs could carry me. But perhaps you are brave enough to uncover this mystery. Of course you I am, but first I'm going to take that key. my factory and bring you jobs to the poor people of this city. Would you do that for us? Yeah. Oh, 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 you don't know what a relief this is. <laughs> I thought nobody would help me. The voice is coming from beneath the floor and through the pipes. You should begin your exorcism there. Yep. You can access the cellar through the trap door. Good luck. I'll be with you. In spirit, at least. Of course you will. Don't doubt that. Oh, right. Oh, the swift those levers. Yeah. Well, short of turning this into part of the Albion's This is closed off. I don't know what I'll do if you don't succeed. But well the path may be gone, but the sun is still shining in our stopped working now. There's another one, right? Or not I can't really see with this color palette. This factory was built on an ancient burial ground. Uh, maybe. Or, or maybe the previous owner was brutally murdered. Ooh, that'd be nice. What if he thinks it was my fault? Then you have a bad luck. Your sweat is the rain that will nurture our crops. The oil that will run our clock. Wait a second, if I screwed it up, I think. No, I made it. As usual, by accident, but... I should have known the price on this place was too good to be true. It still took every last bit of gold I had, though. Okay, let's get down here. Thank you. Without toil, we will cease to exist. The survival of our species depends on you. All right. Yeah, there will be a lot of digging. I don't know whether there are really those digging spots. Hold it. Like, can you? In, in create a map with every digging spot mark whether it's whether that he, oh, whether that's random he does that every couple of I know meters like you know maybe he has set amount of 
places. Like, yeah, set amount of places he is supposed to call. If there's a big spot on a map. No, like, you are in this part. God damn it. You are in this part of map. You, you can find five these bolts. And just randomly distributed time wise. Beware, citizen. Entering a prohibited area may trigger the automatic defenses. I'm just thinking because lately I've started learning some programming and I decided to learn by trying to code my own game, like my own. I'm trying to translate House of Hell from Fighting Fantasy from book to computer. And I wonder... Well, and, I'm, and that, that's the end of the story, I'm trying to learn how to code in JavaScript. And HTML and CSS, yep, and CSS at the same time. We'll see how that goes. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to be game developer ever. Nope. Mm. Just it's just that, that it, I find it easiest to understand how certain things work when I try to implement them into a game. It's like math. <laughs> if you see X, Y, Z in equation, you go stupid. But if you see flowers, bananas or other stuff, it's like, bang, I know how to solve it. Oh my god. But I... No. I did pass my math in university. But not because I could pass exams, no. I had... I, I had... to have a little, little bit different form of exam, examination than written exam. Because for some reason, whenever I... Whenever I try to solve a problem in a classroom during normal classes, everything went fine. I got everything just like that. Easy. I could explain to el everyone else how to solve this problem, but when the exam exam came, I was handed Exam examination paper. That voice I went stupid. It must be I just couldn't do it anymore. It could the be the same problem. Yes. I just couldn't answer it. My employer said finding Hume's treasures wouldn't be dangerous, but I don't know. Maybe I should turn back now. So after failing my exam six times. The first semester, my professor came to me and said that she knows that I know how to solve these problems. She saw me countless times because uh, solving these problems because I was the only one <laughs> in the whole university group willing to go up to the blackboard and try and solve them. So everyone else was focused on getting their notes. I didn't care because you know, I knew how to solve those problems and I could copy uh, notes from someone else who could make who would make them better in the right way. So yeah, so we decided that I'll write I will get the lowest score on the test. Pass. But 
I will pass, wait, I had to have the proof that I can pass the written exam. Which said that the whole semester I would spend, I don't know, like half an hour or 40 minutes solving the problems during the class. And I didn't have to worry about written exam because it I would get the lowest passing score. So it was very thoughtful of her that she acknowledged that I I had the knowledge, I just couldn't use it while under pressure of time for some reason. I'm not dyslexic and I'm not this... No, not this graphic. Uh, but I could... I have some sort of problem with writing because I tend to forget which way you write letters or write them upside down or something without even, even thinking about it. So. even checked that couple of times. Or, uh, one of the laboratory? Oh, no, or that sometimes I was asked to write a couple of numbers or words down. And when we checked them, let's say I was sure I was supposed to write si 6, 10, 159, and so on and so on. And then I was asked the numbers repeat them and I repeated them correctly out loud but it turned out that in, let's say instead of six I wrote down three while my brain uh, while my brain was sure he wrote down six And I have to take so many. We tried so many exams again because of that. God damn it! Would you mind? How many of them do I have to kill? Do not talk about my school life, which is really great. Okay, as long as I don't have to write too much, or if I'm going to use computer, I'm good at that. <laughs> I figure it went wrong, or the right way, like, I have no idea, I never, I'm never able to remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went the right way. The right, right way, not the wrong right way. We so have to go back. Oh, sorry, I. Who always places the uh, right way to go to push you are not authorized to enter quest four to the left? I know it's the left hand rule, but come on. <laughs> I'm so glad that we cannot fall down there. It would be awful. I don't think there are any gnomes down here. Right Mutant, now, we are in the DLC area. Remember correctly. 
So we should be fine. Hey. Okay. Can I shoot them? Yeah, 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 I know. Luckily, dog doesn't. Out of the the close closing doors. Sure, sure. All oh, right, we ignored you earlier. Okay, where is it? Turn back or die. You are not welcome here. I know I'm not. Chill. I'll be out of here before you know it. Really. Since you're dead. I think you're dead. I don't quite remember. You're dead, right? Just a voice in a metal tube. This intrusion cannot be tolerated. You shall be terminated. Yep. Again. Okay, thank you. You are useful. <laughs> useful, as always. I always almost said useless. Useless. And you are. <sighs> and you have vegetables in your graves. Hello. No books, no books. Hello, fellow humans from the underground. If <laughs> I awfully silent. <laughs> oh. Excuse them. They think you're a monster. <laughs> oh. Well, they're Boring looking at me. Folk. They don't know any better. They were born and raised here, underground. Never seen an outsider before, you see? So all they know is what Montague tells them. He's in charge round here, always has been. Though he's a real recluse, he lives in that house on the hill, watching us and sending his orders through talking tubes. You must have heard his voice. Right. Citizens, A lot. stay in your mm. homes until the crisis has passed. All will be well in the end. And I can see the no. Nearly none of them Let listen to goes. him. Don't take him long to know what's going on. You better go and see him and let him know we are not a monster. Otherwise, you'll be held to pay. The elevator will take mm. you up there. Okay, now we're done. Okay, and be before our dogs goes off. Remember, citizens, stay yeah. inside the compound. In the above world, there is only death and devastation. Montague's a genius, you know. Design this whole place. Completely mad, of course. But a genius, nonetheless. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we have our sword. I'm afraid that we were equipped with this sword from the RPG session. Or tabletop session? I don't even call it. Oh. Ah, do it. Up 
Wheel. Oh. Since every Fable game has a gauntlet, so I'm fitting that this one has as well. Although a little bit late, let's say. Nope, you don't. Really? so slow on changing weapon all of a sudden. Really? Anyone else? Good. Those dogs were those dogs weren't oh using Okay you're not Screw that those dogs are annoying And I mean it Actually I could use this a lot more And we will. And I would love to play Fable Journey again. Uh. Unfortunately, I don't have my Xbox in this flat. Maybe I'll get it. I'll get it here someday. Maximum alert! The last line of the understone defense system has been activated. Death is inevitable. Maybe. That game was just so fun to play. Unfortunately, I didn't have any choices whatsoever. Moral choices. And believe me, I tried. I think I played for two or three times. Those are always so that I'm strained for play. Every game, every fable game. You leave no alternative, so you many times. So apparently most people only like Fable 1. Oh, I don't know if Fable Anniversary because this is apparently what it is. And yeah, and... 
Or goes to your column, I guess. It's a shame that... that there's no new thing about Fable 4. We just dumped in a teaser. There's nothing else. You are it's sad! <laughs> I hope they won't leave it like that. I hope that the Fable 4 will be created. Oh. Eh, I hoped for a book. I don't want to steal from I'm bad. And I don't. I'm bad enough. I don't need to steal. friend <laughs> look forgive me for not being completely honest before but i had no idea there would be a whole city down here i expected treasures inventions but <laughs> not this think of the business opportunities a whole town devoted to work doing whatever you tell them never questioning you never demanding payment Leave the machine running, and we can share the profits. <laughs> we'll be rolling in gold without having to lift a finger. What do you say? I hope you're not thinking of stopping the machine. Of course not, please. Oh, very good. <laughs> right, now, leave everything to me. I'm somewhat of an expert when it comes to manipulating workers. Really? Because it seems that all you workers weren't manipulated your enough to stay in your haunted factory. You heard him. Now get to work, everyone. You don't want to be responsible for the death of the human race, do you? And no one ask him who the hell he is. Great society. Mm, not on my mind. Okay, so the air down here is polluted. And, we'll well. and we can Trust go for another. Me. No, not for true. God damn it. I made a mistake. I want out. For some reason I thought it will open up the... Mm, ...west list. Nice. But, mm, nope. Oh well. We'll go like this. Welcome to the sanctuary. Yes, hello, Jasper. Uh, so, get the quest list. Perhaps, uh, gone but not forgotten, maybe. A pen in the smag and oh, an ancient key. Awakening, oh, yep. Yes, please teleport me to the right place. I'm too lazy to go there on foot. The silver pine curse being up. Wait. 
the silver pine curse being up means there's an open way to silver pines. Oh, oh really? You so nimble all of a sudden. I already thank you. No, I don't wanna no, I don't wanna take anything. We're going that way from the perfectly. Oh, I thought I heard the goblin, but it was just hopes. Really though, stop it! Okay, there was a treasure chest, so there's nothing left. Am I going to hide? I don't know. I have no idea where we are, to be honest. I'm going to go down here. All of a sudden, our glowing trail just turned off. I love this game and, and how... And what a buggy mess it is. Man, just die. Thank you. Taking the wrong turn. Oh god damn it. Okay, never mind. He's not willing to fight all of you. Simply two. This is the fort. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the fourth alt lock? Here's the fort. Yes, set as a target, and yes, please teleport me to the nearest location. This is different spot than before. <laughs> Not that scary yet. Hey, how are ah, you? Excellent. It's you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just, just practicing my evil laugh. You're getting better. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, since you've been gone, we've made quite a bit of progress uncovering the dark sanctum until now. Turns out that the temple was full of hideous monsters. Uh, what would you was? expect in a place of such delicious evil, after all? <laughs> Trouble is, my workers are getting mobbed whenever they try to do any work. Well, I say mobbed. They say brutally torn to shreds by foul creatures from the underworld. But that's just semantics, really. The point is that they can't work at the moment. Would you get rid of them? The monsters, I mean. Leave them, workers. Once these dreadful things are out of the way, we can carry on excavating. And then who knows what dark wonders we might find. Fine. So you can't get anything done yourself. Ooh. Excellent. Well, let me know when it's safe for us to resume work. Hey. Why do I even pay you? Can't even get one dark sanctum. Ready to work. And expect me to get rid of some skeletons. Really. Because who 
do you think you're trying to make work? We don't nope, not quite yet. Stop it. Yep, keep hitting each other. That's a good way. It's about he wasn't hit. That was all. Really? That's it? And you couldn't deal with them yourself. Oh my god. Leslie, I think I'm gonna change my apprentice. They're gone? Yep. Oh, brilliant. Well, now we can work our way deeper into the complex. Who knows what we'll find? Mm. Time for a evil laugh, do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. But it was only five gold seals. Now I know why. Ah, hello. Actually, I think we won't get out of the morning just yet. Gone, but not forgotten. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys, really? Oh, I will turn it. Nice. Oh, no. I didn't like when they block. There's only one thing I really miss in this game. Oh, well. I get it, it was destroyed in the second one. But you were able to rebuild it. I think. I'm fairly sure. Oh, that Max. He's always getting me into trouble. We were going to go right home after the party, but now he's gone off. I've got to find him. If Mum finds out about all this, she'll kill us! Or, you know, the equivalent. Oh, she'll send you to purgatory. Wonderful! Now, I do kind of know where he is. Um, follow me. Mum always warned us about drinking. It was quite sweet, actually, her concern. She used to say, Touch that stuff, and you'll end up a worthless, filthy old tramp, like your father. We always respected her wishes in that regard, which is actually a bit uncharacteristic for us. But Max, he just started putting it away. And all the time he's reading out incantations from the book, laughing like a maniac. He turned the trees upside down, it was raining handbags at one point, and then he summoned this huge flaming demon who was amazing at croquet. And there were weird bits as well. Really? I told him he should lay off, and he said if I didn't like the party, I could leave. And I said, why don't you leave? And he left. And he took the party with him. Here, I'll just get inside. So, if you just turn into a wisp, you can fly right it. Yep. Oh, sorry. Stupid of me. Uh, here. Thank you. He's in there somewhere. I'd go with you, but I think that would just upset him. Good luck. Thanks, I guess. Oh, well. Who needs the living? They're a bunch of wet blankets. Max. Hey! If you come to join the party, we've got a good vibe going on here, so don't bring us down. We're going hey, out. What are you doing? Oh, 
I know what this is about. You can't make me go back. Watch this. Oh, shit. Whee! Of course. Luckily, there's more important things than you. You read the key. Mm. <sighs> Let's get him. I think you'll find this is a barrel of laughs. <laughs> Seriously. Something like this is supposed to hold me back. Well, it did help me back, hold me back, but it won't stop me. I'm on the If I remember correctly, the truck is down here. Come on, jump down. Thank you, sweetie. I swear I'm gonna kill you. And all your whole men. Oh, I have one golden key. Am I lazy enough to use this only key over here? Yep. I never opened this before. I always try to do something. Mm. Ooh. Nice. A sister to the legendary Ava Steer. This weapon was forged at the same time, but was lost for a century. Okay, let's see what it does. There are new weapons in your armor. And can you use it? No, the increased or it, it has 56 damage right now. Forty-nine. That. Let's see. Fighters. Increasing moral standing. Uh, no. 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 And the nice button. No. The whole point of this playthrough. We're evil. Nice riddles. Oh. Bummer. Max, get over here. I really had it with you. Almost had me, not really though. Eh. Yes, of course I know how it ends. I know how it goes. I as for some reason those two guys are so memorable. Me <gasps> I remember nearly. I th no, I think I remember every. plot with them. I can't really talk about plot twists! Because they were always maniacs. Even when they were alive. Oh, it's stuck. Not that I always, I always, almost had you. What the fuck you there? <laughs> you really are a 
party pooper just like mum. She never lets me do anything. It's always cut that out and put that down and you'll unleash an ancient evil again. Well, I've had enough of her oppression. I've had a taste of real freedom now. And ale, by the way, which was quite nice as well. You dress like your father. You. But if it's a choice between that and going back to mum, you forced my hand. Of course I did. These are the ghosts of the people mum warned me not to hang around with, so look out! And they're Fine. gonna like die movie. again. Do you have any more? I hope you're gonna pay for the mess you're causing. I'm purging this place. Too much. Anything else? Yes? Soon you'll be one of us. Dead. Are we done? All right, fine. So you bested a few ghosts, but you'll never take me back to my mum. I don't need her. I don't need Anybody, I'm doing my own thing and no one's going to stop me. <sighs> and that's where you're wrong. I don't care about your mom, I'm going to stop you. Oh. Ah, shame. <laughs> You've fallen into another one of my traps. When I first came in here and found this, I thought, bloody hell, it'd be great fun to lead someone in here. Well, thank you for obliging me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Why is it even here? Get the point. You certainly are sharp. I hope you enjoy big, piercing spiky things crushing your head right admittedly that last one was rubbish oh well we blocked from both sides i guess we die oh, hi sam Max, i thought i had a massive spike ceiling starting to descend into an inescapable chamber He's gone too far this time. I mean, when we first found the book and read from it, that was just healthy, youthful curiosity. Um. And when we summoned that load of hollow men in Bowerstone Sam, it was really just an innocent misunderstanding. And the banshee we raised that nearly destroyed Bloodstone, that got blown way out of proportion. Sam. But I mean, killing you like this, that crosses a line. Just look at this situation. You're trapped in a room, spikes start coming down out of the ceiling, and actually, they're moving quite fast, aren't they? They were much higher when I came in. I mean, you might only be seconds away from death and... Oh! Uh, right, sorry! Thank you. There. I think that stopped them. Go on, then. Right. Let's go find Max and put a stop to this. <sighs> Thank you. And my control is still rumbling. Thank you. No, oh, they are actually moving. Okay, I don't really care about those chests. They're not really that useful. So we're just gonna... Okay, I don't care about that either. You'll see why.
because we are basically unstoppable. There's no what to do with himself. And I can't hit him from there. Yeah. Thank you. It might be a little bit anticlimactic, but years of bloody piano lessons. Well. Guess who's brilliant idea that was? Mums! And now we'll get ready for an epic battle. Very epic battle. <laughs> I'm waiting. Oh, there was just one left. The wisps protect the book. Kill them, and you can get it. Oh, will you shut up? What do you want to do? Go back to Mum? We wasted our lives always doing what she said. Do you want to do the same thing with our death? I guess I never thought about it that way. Go on then. Have a drink. Well, uh, maybe just a teeny one. Well, how do you feel? I feel like Mum would never have let me do that. But What's she going to do? Kill me? I can do whatever I like! Watch this! Mental! You're mental! And that's how this fight goes. to do this fight blindfolded. Just by rumbling of controller. You don't even have to move if you have right spells. And that's it. We're nearly out of wisps. Don't worry, I've got a clever idea. Really? There was no one there. Why did you? Shooting. It never ceases to amaze me. I find something fun and interesting, and as soon as you get involved, it's ruined. Mom! I knew I would find you two getting up to no good. What are you doing here? Never mind. You've been reading from that book again, haven't you? And do I smell ale? Yes, on Max. He had rather a lot, actually. 
You snitch! This is why I never want you around. You get down off there this instant and march straight back to your grave. And you're not getting any supper! Oh, Mum! We're sorry, Mum. I told you we'd get in trouble! No, you didn't. Thank you for finding my sons and for getting that book away from them. I don't know how they could have got their cold, dead hands on it. But then, I don't really want to know. I have nothing to give you, except this advice. Don't have your children buried near you, especially if they're anything like mine. Okay, we're done with that. And you... Oh! I was so... Right over ancient key. I don't remember that. Sure. Mainly because I don't remember this. I remember Silver Pine Curse and I... I hate it so damn much. But that's because I hate Balverines. And since the silver pine is full of Wolverines, I had everything that's remotely connected to silver pines. I'm all of that. Okay, it's in the library. Okay, I remember now. The door that we couldn't open before will now be opened. We'll get the key to open it. Something like that. from my cousin didn't you oh well, right it turned yeah out to be a rather ancient artifact a key to a secret door in this very academy most exciting i was all ready to open it and investigate but samuel my boss said it might be dangerous he suggested i find a capable escort you certainly look right for the job will you come with me it could be the greatest discovery of the century Sure. You will brilliant. Let's go then, shall we? Oh, of course, I stick you Aren't you dying to find out what's yes, behind that? Yes, but I can grab your hand, unfortunately. There are probably gonna be monsters, but don't Knowing mind them. My luck, all we'll find is a list of goods traded to some long dead merchant a thousand years ago. Still, oh, that could be interesting in itself. And you what are lucky. Trade in those days? Who knows? Potatoes and apples. Not that I know. Not that I destroyed whole fable economy by raiding a little bit. Oh, those are hollows. Basically a dead man. There's lots of them. I didn't expect there to be that many of them. Stop hitting me, please. Oh, there's a big one as well. Ah, that's why you're in trouble. Oh, we might be. Nope. Oh, heal. Just in case, because we are stuck. And it's kind of annoying. Again. Okay. 
Okay. Can we go now? Oh. Seriously though. No. Really hope this turns out better than the last I'm trying. I went on. Thank you. I got a nettle rash. Just no. run. Remember correctly. Yep, down here. Or a book on ancient science that will enable us to build a flying machine or something. Though that is a lie. There were no flying machines. Remember correctly. Let's get over here. Most interesting. Who knows what strange wonders and curious artifacts may be found behind this mysterious door. There. Wow, look at this place. It's stacked with rare books and ancient tomes. It's like a librarian's paradise. I'm glad that you I like it. Thank you so much for getting me here safely, but you can go now. No. I'm going to stay here for a while, read and catalogue everything. It's going to be thoroughly marvellous. And I'm going to shoot some things. Please don't let it be timed. I am very horrible with. Big skills. You guys have a book? Carl Tennyson was hunting with a friend when tragedy struck. Attempting to climb over a mossy log, Carl slipped and his rifle fired, the bullet striking his friend squarely in the chest. It was almost certainly an accident, but still, he did kill him. So I'm well within my rights to include it here. I guess, given the banality of the circumstances, he wasn't really famous. But when this book comes out, you bloody well will be there. I thought there was something just... and instead it's just a misplaced texture. There's the play game. If he didn't spawn so many of them, it wouldn't be much problem. Why did you start blocking all of a sudden? This will allow us to gain access to another golden door, which we won't be able to open. Get out. That's why I hate this guy. Eat the celery. Hitting me. <sighs> At least we'll have lots of in it. Fine, let me hit this guy. is annoying if he didn't spawn the better guys I thought it easier <laughs> uh, you don't have to follow me you no know? 
Okay, I guess we could. There's no need though. It takes long. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind it going so far down. It just takes so goddamn long. I don't mind the fights. Okay, we're nearly there. By the way, why did they make golden keys use up while? Well, Silver keys you can just use repeatedly. Wonder. Yep, we have none left. Well, we have none left. And I think this is the best one we can get. We'll open. We'll open. Kidnapped. Well, I guess we have some time. We have to get to Silver Pine somehow. And we, we need to get fat as well. <laughs> so funny. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to go somewhere else tonight. Somewhere else? And where would that be exactly? Every other place being closed down. And I'll freeze to death on the streets. And that's if Logan's goons don't bash my skull in first. You think you're the only one who has problems? I'm sorry, I'm just... Look, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Might as well go I hope you're not looking for somewhere to stay. No, because this anyway. place is about to close for good. I have no choice. I have to sell the building to pay the ransom. It's the only way to get my fiancé back. I tried to work up the courage to rescue him. Damn that ferret and his gang! They've got everyone living in fear, even me! But if I had someone like you with me, you could go in there and show them what fear really is. We could rescue my fiancé, put ferret out of business, and sure. keep the shelter open. Oh, please, if not for me, do it for the poor people who depend on this place. Fine. I want to get a job. Oh, thank you. We can My poor love. It's been somehow being a turn it out to... We can somehow make it turn out bad. They've been harassing the local homeless for weeks, but now this. It's outrageous. I know where they are. They demanded I bring them the ransom in a week's time. But I'll bring them something better. Nice. Not too shabby. Me? Why do you do the unspeakable They're... things okay. you do? Linda, you just cost me a bit of gold, love. I bet old Harriet take you the full week to get the money. You're an industrious one, ain't you? Just open the bloody door, Keith. Let's have done with this. Right, Mr. Ferret's down those stairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Who's your friend? In your parlance, she's the bag man. And that gold doesn't leave her hands until my fiance's walked out of your fetid little den. All right, no need to get all uppity. You just watch yourself around, Mr. Ferret, or things will get unfriendly fast. No, we not. Okay. Hey, wait up. Oh, Linda. I kind of 
tell you how elated I am to have this unfortunate situation brought to a satisfying resolution. Your associate can dispense with her burden by piling the funds upon the table. There's no gold, Ferret. Now you cough up my fiancé from whatever filthy corner you're keeping him in, or my associate is going to start collecting heads and piling them upon the table. My initial judgment of your character was clearly misguided. You possess some heart after all. Lads, tear it out. You said something. Oh, really? What were you doing out there? What are you shooting at? Okay. Oh, there's a book. Destructive tool ever devised by man. It has forever changed the face of warfare, allowing an untrained peasant to kill a highly disciplined professional soldier with virtually no effort. Scholars have begun to speculate could this formidable development destroy the concept of chivalry, perhaps even that of mercy? Only time will tell, and this troubling debate has only just begun. Also, gunpowder is used in fireworks to celebrate various occasions. And if you light off even a quite small one in your hand, it'll hurt very, very badly. I cannot overstate how unthinkably horrible the pain is. Your men are it's dead, true. Barrett. Unless you want to join them, let us in. It's open! My brother was stupid enough to light a little. No, it wasn't firework. It was the, the one that explodes. You brought this on While holding it in his hand, and instead of letting it go, he clenched really his fist foot. until it blew up in his hand. Men, Lucky for him, had really thick. Gloves. So my mom wasn't screwing around and well, she gave us always the thickest gloves and, exactly the and jackets she could find. find. An a nearby so in the end, he ended, that he ended up bruised. Will you hey. well, access. The sewer? You fellows are he smelled a little bit. Burned but was fine otherwise. I'll keep an eye on Ferret. A gun. If it wasn't for I his, really did mischaracterize you. For those gloves, he would have well, lost at least two fingers. Elliot. Well, hello there. I, I thought. I thought you were. I thought you were gone. Do you know how hard I've tried to forget you? You were the one who was supposed to be executed. The last time I saw you, that day in the throne room, that was the most horrific day of my life. <laughs> Today's not going to be great either if we don't get you out of here. Come on. Hello. Hi. I can't do this. You can't save me again like that day. This isn't like that. This time, no one gets hurt. Just when I think I have everything sorted out, you come back into my life. Um... You know what? No, I'm not waiting for you to dig up anything else. Out of here. Watch out. Lay off. Chill out. Is that all of them? You yes, that's amazing. all of them.
Walter's stories about your father. You're a hero. It's not all it's cracked up to be, believe me. Things are becoming clearer to me now. When Logan started to behave so appallingly, I told myself he wanted to prove his strength by seeing off a few agitators. But it's more insidious than that. Taking lives is good, but to take away hope, to force an entire kingdom to live in fear, that's true tyranny. It's going to take more than a hero to stop him. It's going to take a full-scale revolution. Yeah, what we're talking about isn't revolution, we're talking about war. Oh, at least that's how it's gonna turn out to be. How did you... Uh, what the heck? Fine, where is it? Let's get out of here, shall we? Mm. Okay. Thank you for saving me. I don't just mean today. I should have thanked you back in the throne room, but I was just... I just felt so... guilty. I made the choice that day. And I hated you for it. Feeling that those people died because of me. Instead of thanking me, think of a way to explain this to your... There fiance? Was something worse. Deep inside, I felt happy. Ah, let's go. Happy, even as they were dragged away, that I was still alive. Man. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. Anybody would feel what you did. It was a horrible situation, and the only one to blame for it is Logan. Well, now that I've said all that, thank you. You're welcome. Should be almost back to Linda. Oh, bloody hell, Linda. What am I going to say to her? Exactly. Wait, I have to tell you something. Linda is the most... Well, she's the second most amazing woman I've ever met. She started that shelter from nothing. And she keeps it going despite Ferret and Reva. Working with her felt... Right. After all those years in the castle doing nothing, then somehow it became about more than work. I felt something I hadn't since you. And now you're back. Oh, this is maddening. Here I am pouring my heart out and you haven't said anything. Do you want to give me a consoling hug and say, do the honorable thing? Or grab me and kiss me and tell me to come back? Normally, I would stick with no comment, but since we are who we are... You said you tried to forget me. And I understand why. But I'm back now. Oh. And 
I'm so glad you are. Listen, I need time to break it to Linda. Please, say nothing now, then find me at the shelter in a few days, and we will be together. I love you. I can't believe you came down here and found me. You of all people. Oh, I want to see it. I want to hear it. Linda! Elia! Ow, my head! That weasel Nigel Ferret must have struck me when my back was turned. Oh, darling, thank goodness you're all right. You've saved the love of my life. I'm forever in your debt. Thank you for everything. No, oh, that's a funny story because he's gonna bump so you. you. I'm here now. I love you. I love you too. Oh. Oh, yeah. You little. <gasps> Welcome to the sanctuary. We're gonna... we'll have to kill him. Definitely. Let's go to Silver. Yep. I'm gonna go to Dark to Silver Pines. Millfields? I'm from Millfields. Don't do that. Oh, lass. I bet you think that tattoo oh, you god damn it. No, you? no, well, at least. Why are you so tough? You yeah, know, my you're not so tough anymore. That way, okay. Fine, nope, not fine. I hate it. <laughs> Why are pulverines in every part? No, I can't understand. Well, I get it, it's part of Fable, but just have to, have to be so annoying. Much rather have more fairies Yay! or you know what? Well, oh, there were too many monsters throughout Fable. Well, I would much rather have those demons from Fable Journey. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Or, spi or, or spiders. Uh. I hear you make a living by being an errand girl for anyone to ask. Not, not the Balverines. Oh, it's you again. Even those tramps are better. No, we're not digging anything or anyone up. I'm going to run away because of you. Uh, 
Okay, so apparently there's no note. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, there will be note. At some point. Damn it. Really going great. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. Where's the treasure? I hate you. Really? We can't get there. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not listening to you. We've never lost a fight. Did you know that? That's not the one. Stop shooting our boys. Oh, what? Wait, it misses? One point. I'm not playing XCOM. I'm sorry. Were you trying to hit? So why do you miss from point blank? Exactly. someone when he's on the ground all you do is run around and bark when you find some spot to dig There's no, no, even one of the big guys. Yep. Who goes there? Is that you, Captain? No. You must be one of the new recruits. Watch your back. The Captain's already had Seth killed. He can't be trusted. But we must still follow orders. And these are yours, soldier. Place a skull you found on the altar at the burial ground. It's the only way. You understand? The only way. Sure. Oh, I think we can get all four parts. Oh, we get oh god damn it, he's there. Oh, I said that I'm glad he's not. Yes, now I actually have to listen to you. Can. Altar right here. It's 
search silver pencil. Let me take this part. Really? We need to go back the way we came. Okay, fine. So, maybe let's go back up here. Let's get back through the village. There's one in the pond. One we have to dig up. That leaves us with. I sensed your presence before you even arrived. <laughs> Only thirty three left. Okay, yeah, and one is in a small cage. Yeah. That makes it free. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Just make sure you bolt your doors at night. <laughs> yeah, we're nearly halfway with the silver keys. It's always nice. Okay, you're gonna die fairly soon, all of you. There's one over here. Should be. There he is. Wasn't my fault. Couldn't disobey a direct order, could I? The captain made me do it. But Seth was my friend. He was my only friend. I'm sorry, Seth. I'm so sorry. I'm fairly sure that this going trouble take us directly to the altar, which we don't want. Because I kinda remember where all the parts are. Kinda. Very kinda. And there's a key over here. Oh, shut up. Mm, now, only the only thing left to find is that little cave. Tail, I think? Maybe tail was buried? Oh, oh, I don't remember. This oh god. There are always ghosts show up near the places of the poor the remains. There he is. Torso. Okay. The captain told me to bury it. He was scared there'd be a mutiny if the others found out. Said it was for the good of the squad. But all he wanted was the weapon. He lied to me. He lied to us all. And the only tail is left and he buried somewhere. Yeah. Where I have no idea. What? Okay, now I need you. So you might be able to. Oh, there's a treasure chest. And get over here. Although you should show me that there's quests on your you. Let's mark. See? Instead of just a dig. Yeah. 
Maybe it was in test? No, I really don't remember the last part. We spend a lot of time searching for it. And always find a lot of useless junk instead. No? Yes? No. Does it show there's something over here? There isn't something good. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll go over there. We'll look for way up. So we made a full circle, including seriously, including that part. Treasure is somewhere over there. Which means we should try going to the left. Oh, straight. you guys I was wondering where you are well now you are shot dead how does it feel there he is Really? <sighs> okay, you're done? Great. This is where they shot Seth, poor little bugger. He was always loyal, right to the end. He didn't deserve to die, but the captain gave the order, and we followed it. That's what we do. We follow orders. Yeah, I know. Did we follow that path? Oh, well. We will fold it off eventually, never mind. To go here. Altar is right right there. And we haven't seen place with the occult treasure. Never mind, I guess. Ooh. Yes, you are very majestic.
No. Give me the weapon that made you kill your pet and squad. That sword is mine, and I have sworn death on all who touch it. Soldiers, your captain needs you. Kill the thief. All your strength can't compete. Good luck. The strength of the law. That's all I can say. Seriously, that, that was dumb. Anything else left to do? Oh, uh, still can go over there. Nope, don't fast travel. We actually, I forgot to leave some books earlier. And now. I don't really want to start another long line of missions. I think I'll end, I'll end it for today after placing the books. Give my throat a little bit of rest because I'm losing voice again. Me, me shouting too much. Maybe we'll gain some reward. Hello. Yep, donate. Another tome for our collection. More than I one. I'll enjoy reading it myself later. I'm not giving the nom nom normal no. Well done. Nomicon. Well done. Another one. Really? You found over a third of all the books we need. Amazing. There are other unusually rare books the Academy would be the richer for. Oh, right. In fact, there's one particular book I've been trying to get my hands on for years, but uh, the owner just wouldn't give it up. The bitter old so-and-so wouldn't even lend it to me. Anyway, it turns out he is, uh, well, he's passed on. Bless his soul. Most convenient, really. Would you be so good as to get it for me? Hmm? It's yeah. in his house in the Bowerstone Old Quarter. He won't miss it. What with being dead and all. It's called the Invocation of the Watchers, by the way. Ancient tome. Demonology and that. All balderdash, of course, but fascinating nonetheless. For you, anything. Excellent! Good for you! You are a most courageous book hunter. Well, not that there's any call for courage. Probably. As I said, the invocation of the Watchers is in a house in the Bowerstone Old Quarter. I'm sure you'll find it with consummate ease. Of course. Any other business to attend to? And with the use of... Newest teleportation spells. This? Nope. A old power stone, not industrial. Old power stone quotes. I can help you find what you're looking for. It's that one. Pull your head out your ass. <laughs> Why are you doing that? 
Why do you want to keep hearing him? Oh, listen to me. I don't care. They're annoying. How would you like to spend a little time? No, there's no bed nearby, so we're not gonna spend any time. I don't say book. Okay. Hopes. There are hopes. I will have five hundred and five hopes. Please go for one. It is in the process. Oh. Complete collection of rare dolls they have been played with, so now they're in mint condition. There are dolls from Fable 2. Cargo from Fable 2. Some food. Golden egg. Couple of teddy bear bears. Bears. Skulls. Those are base soldiers from the Tough Luck Brigade. Oh. I don't know. Okay. God damn it. Damn it. I conjure thee, O thou mighty and potent prince of darkness, Almadio, who wanders in the ether. I conjure thee forthwith to appear here with thy attendants. In this, the witching hour of night, stand before me in this circle, herein inscribed. Come forth in a fair and comely shape, to do my will in all things that I shall desire of you. Do not appear as the shadow, I abjure thee. Here be the seal of Almadil, by which I command you. Brain of Lady Grey. Yes. Wait, that changed? Oh, right. No. The reason I thought the egg was there. The tinctly egg. Something no specimen of the chicken. It came from her. So I found out. Okay. Welcome to the sanctuary. Yes, yes, yes. We're going back. Red wolf. This teleport me somewhere closer. The academy. Thank you. There you go, there's your book. The extra rare books go at the right. back of the academy. By the decimal based system of subject classification. <laughs> You have the invocation of the Watchers! Did it, um, you know, were there... Uh, uh, well, never mind. You're here and you brought the book. That's the important thing. You really are an amazing book collector. Thank you. Which actually, when I say it out loud, doesn't sound that impressive. But still, I, I meant it sincerely. Okay, so we've made a little bit of progress, which means that we've completed all possible side quests for now. Eh. Oh. Yeah, I think that will be it today. So, thank you very much.
Hey, see you soon. Bye.